Maccabeum Shani, two Maccabees, one. The brethren, the Yahudim that be at Yerushalayim, and in the land of Yahud, rather Yahud, wish unto the brethren, the Yahudim that are throughout Mitzrayim, health and peace. Elohim be gracious unto you, and remember his covenant that he made with Avraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov, his faithful servants, and give you all a heart to serve him, and to do his will with a good courage and a willing mind, and open your hearts in his Torah and commandments, and send you peace, and hear your prayers and be at one with you, and never forsake you in time of trouble. And now we be here praying for you, what time as Demetrius reigned in the hundred threescore and ninth year, we the Yahudim wrote unto you in the extremity of trouble that came upon us in those years, from the time that Yachan and his company revolted from the holy land and kingdom, and burned the porch and shed innocent blood, then we prayed unto Yahweh, and were heard. We offered also sacrifices and fine flour, and lighted the lamps, and set forth the loaves. And now, see that ye keep the feast of Chanukah in the month Chiklev, in the hundred fourscore and eighth year. The people that were at Yerushalayim and Yah in Yahudah, and the council and Yahudah, sent greeting and health unto Aristobulus, King Ptolemy's master, who was of the stock of the anointed priests, and to the Yahudim that were in Mitzrayim. So, much so, as Elohim has delivered us from great perils, we thank him highly, as having been in battle against a king. For he cast them out that fought within the holy city. For when the leader was come into Persia, and the army with him that seemed invincible. They were slain in the temple of Nania by the deceit of Nania's priests. For Antichius, as though he would marry her, came into the place, and his friends that were with him, to receive money in the name of a dowry, which when the priests of Nania had set forth, and he was entered with a small company into the compass of the temple, they shut the temple as soon as Antichius was come in. And opening a privy door of the roof, they threw stones like thunderbolts and struck down the captains, hewed them in pieces, smote off their heads, and cast them to those that were without. Blessed be our Elohim in all things, who has delivered up the wicked. Therefore, whereas we are now purposed to keep the purification of the temple, upon the five-and-twentieth day of the month Kiklev, we thought it necessary to certify you thereof, that ye also might keep it, as the feast of Chanukah, and of the fire which was given us when Nechemyah offered sacrifice. After that, he had built the temple and the altar. For when our fathers were led into Persia, the priests that were then devout took the fire of the altar privily, and hid it in a hollow place of a pit without water, where they kept it sure, so that the place was unknown to all men. Now, after many years, when it was, rather, when it pleased Elohim, Nehemiah, being sent from the king of Persia, did send of the posterity of those priests that had hid it to the fire. But when they told us they found no fire but thick water, then commanded he them to draw it up and to bring it. And when the sacrifices were laid on, Nehemiah commanded the priests to sprinkle the wood and the things laid thereupon with water. When this was done, and the time came that the sun shone, which afore was hid in the cloud, there was a great fire kindled, so that every man marveled. And the priests made a prayer while the sacrifice was consuming, I say, both the priests and all the rest, Jonathan beginning, and the rest answering thereunto, as Nehemiah did. And 
The prayer was after this manner. O Yahweh, Yahweh Elohim, creator of all things, who is fearful and strong and righteous and merciful and the only and gracious king, the only giver of all things, the only just, almighty and everlasting, you that deliver Yashara'el from all trouble and did choose the fathers and sanctify them, Receive the sacrifice for your whole people, Yashara'el, and guard your own portion and sanctify it. Gather those together that are scattered from us. Deliver them that serve among the heathen. Look upon them that are despised and abhorred, and let the heathen know that you are our Elohim. Punish them that oppress us and with pride do us wrong. Plant your hot, rather, plant your people again in your holy place, as Moshe has spoken. And the priests sung psalms of thanksgiving. Now, when the sacrifice was consumed, Nehemiah commanded the water that was left to be poured on the great stones. When this was done, there was kindled a flame, but it was consumed by the light that shined from the altar. So when this matter was known, it was told the king of Persia, that in the place where the priests that were led away had hid the fire, and there appeared water, and that Nehemiah had purified the sacrifices therewith. Then the king, in closing the place, made it holy after he had tried the matter, and the king took many gifts and bestowed thereof on those whom he would gratify. And Nehemiah called this thing Naphtar, which is as much as to say, a cleansing. But many men call it nefu, 